regards to Aziz, who's in Noble Drew Ali's Quran on the second page after Noble Drew Ali, right? I was doing my studies and I read that he demolished these mosques that's on top of the grave sites of the six Ali Imams that's buried there, which lets you know who the seventh is. These Muslims started building the temple or these mosques here, right? And they started believing that if they went there and prayed, that they would be closer to Allah. But we meet Allah in the heart and we're close as our jugular vein, brothers and sisters. And they started falling off. They made the mosque. And then look, they believed that when they believed when they went to the graves that they could be healed by their carnal flesh, by the carnal flesh that was in the grave, brothers and sisters. Everyone was trying to bury their family members the closest to the Ali's because no matter what they did, they'd go to heaven if they was buried in the same place as the Ali's. And they started seeing it as idolatry. So they started destructing it. So then that's why I love I love Noble Drew Ali because you go out anything outside the Moors paradigm, you go out and then you measure it up against Noble Drew Ali. And Noble Drew Ali said, what? I didn't tell you who my parents was or where they was born because you built a shrine there. You know what I'm saying? That's idolatry, brothers and sisters. And then th there's stories of Muhammad where it said he would always go to the Ali elder who adopted him. He would always go to her grave and cry every all the time, cry and cry, get other people crying. So he didn't understand death. And Noble Drali said, death is no any enemy of man. If anything, he should have been looking up, standing tall with that thousand yard stare, knowing that Mother Ali is on smoother planes and handling her business the best that she can because she's there. He didn't understand death, brothers and sisters. They said Muhammad dug her grave with his own hands and placed the body in there of the elder Ali that adopted him. So man knows not by being told, but in regards to all of these events that we go over in the DMX Almanac, I spoke with Grand Sheik yesterday and he really centered me back. He wants me to stop reeling everywhere and thinking that it happened somewhere else. And that is very true indeed, because a lot of times when I'm doing these studies, my mind is reeling over to the east, when in fact it should be over here, because we have numerous studies showing that Gnosis spread from the Americas out. Because just think of all the dead status people, all the stuff they doing. It all spreads all over the world and they're trying to be who they are and they're in dead status. So just think about the truth, someone that's in truth, how much it can spread. So the Gnosis definitely came from the Americas out because we see it happening right now unconsciously because all everything they do from their clothing to their the way they speak, all of it, man, it all spreads and all whole world wants to be who the Americans are the Moors. But then you think of today, if that was idolatry and they tore down them temples and Noble Drali said, don't build no shrines because that's the same thing they did with Mary and Joseph, right? So today, the 10 foot by 10 foot grave where Muhammad is built, they have a huge temple on top. So the Eastern modern Islam, they're committing idolatry by putting temples and stuff on top of the grave sites of Muhammad. Which proves that the reincarnated Prophet Noble Drali and his followers were not listening to Noble Drali because they built a shrine on top of the reincarnated Prophet Noble Drali's grave site. We must walk alone and lay our offering upon the shrine of Allah. And then we can put our hand in Allah's hand and know all is well, brothers and sisters. The shrine is for Allah.